Hey guys, how are you? I hope you're all doing very well. This afternoon I'm going to be doing a movie review. This movie is a horror film from the United States, English language, released in the year 2014, directed by Anthony de Blasi, and this movie is called Last Shift. So Last Shift tells a story about this police station that's closing down, but on the final night, it's someone is going to have to wait overnight for a hazmat team to come in because they've got to collect some biohazardous uh, material from the evidence room. So this rookie police officer, it's her first, uh, her first day on the job and she is tasked with overlooking the whole situation. So she's got to stay there overnight. The sergeant tells her, don't worry, all the 911 calls have been diverted to the new station and as soon as morning falls then she'll be out of work in the, uh, in the new station. So this is kind of her initiation. So she stays overnight and she thinks that it's going to be a very easy evening but it's easy is going to be the last thing it is because it actually turns out that this police station has, has a troubled history and it is coming back to haunt her so whether or not she can survive the night that's something you're going to have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on Last Shift. I didn't know what to expect with this movie. After seeing the trailer, I thought this is going to be a typical sort of B-grade generic horror film. So expectations weren't too high and I really didn't have too much of an interest to see it until I noticed that Anthony de Blasi directed it. And Anthony de Blasi, he directed a Clive, adapt uh, a Clive Barker adaptation called Dread. And I thought Dread was superbly done in the atmosphere. I thought it was the stuff you couldn't see. It, it was everything that horror is, has, you know, has forgotten these days. You know, the atmosphere. It's all about cheap tricks, jump scares and gore. And it, this that atmosphere, the good old fashioned storytelling, has, seems to be a forgotten art. So when I saw Dread, I loved that movie. And so when I noticed that he directed Last Shift, I was expecting a lot then. So after seeing the movie, I can say that yes, the movie does have problems, but I thought it was hugely enjoyable. And for one of the rare occasions where a horror film is genuinely scary, I was actually on the edge of my seat for quite a lot of this film because the horror set pieces had a lot of time and attention to the minor details. Now the minor details might not seem like much, but when they all add up, it actually makes a big difference. And a lot of these horror films of recent times, they overlook the minor details and it kind of feels like it's just lazy. But this movie actually feels like it has a patient builder and it slowly creeps under your skin. I thought the overall setting played a big positive, but it also played a negative, which I'll go into a little bit later. But the positive has actually felt like this police station was a character of its own. It felt like the whole police station was engulfing this, this female officer and it was just a very claustrophobic and tight feeling and as I said there are some moments that are jump scares but they are done very well and they're done sparingly. It's not overdone so you become desensitized to the situation. So the overall backstory concerning this police station really worked well for it uh, as well. You know the combination between backstory and the overall present day situation was very intriguing and it keeps the interest going. So it is a movie that is very surreal, very bizarre and and I actually thought there were some moments that were reminiscent of Pet Cemetery. There were moments reminiscent of Martyrs, which is a brilliant French horror film. And it just, it feels like it's taking all the good old fashioned elements of horror and it's putting it in. And it just felt like a, a very entertaining ride. And it's a throwback to the glory days of horror and doing what horror is supposed to do. And it's not just startling you. It's not grossing you out. It's actually genuinely freaking you out because it's getting under your skin. And there were moments that I thought if you watch this movie late at night, it'll keep you up because it just has that element of atmosphere that I wasn't expecting. So that's the reason why I liked it and in the end it's not really a surprise because of the fact that this director really knows his stuff as far as horror is concerned. I thought the acting was very good, the main character didn't have a lot to play with. It's not a movie that his sole intention is to gain relatability to the characters, it's more about the overall the, the situation that she's actually in and it's all about creeping you out with the visuals and as I said with the stuff you can't see. So the acting was decent. For a low budget movie this actually felt like it was high quality. The camera angles were fantastically done. As I said nothing was excessive so it actually when it hits you it actually feels like it's much more of an impact because you don't allow yourself to become desensitized to the situation. So the acting was good. Uh, her reactions to certain events were authentic and it didn't feel like she was acting. So you could put yourself into her shoes to some extent and you could really experience what was going on. So when the night goes from bad to worse, you feel like you're going down a terrifying nightmare and the imagery really works to its advantage and it just complements the overall atmosphere. So unfortunately, though, although the ending was absolutely superb, I love the way it finished. I was a little bit hesitant about the ending because a lot of horror films struggle with the end, but I thought this movie really nailed the ending and it just capped off, as I said, what was a very freaky film. But unfortunately for me, 
The reason why this movie is not great was because of the character decisions. Now, unfortunately, this is where the generic sort of horror element comes into it. Now, this woman's decisions, this police officer, she makes decisions based purely for the continuation of the story as opposed to common sense. So when she has this situation, you feel to yourself, okay, any normal person would have ran the other way. And that really takes you out of her shoes and you actually feel like you're genuinely watching a movie. And you're watching a horror movie that the woman is doing everything based solely for the story. And that if she did something with, you know, if she had common sense, the movie would be over very, very quickly. So that element I really didn't like and I think it does release the tension valve a little bit. So, I mean, the setting, although it does play to its strengths, there's also a weakness in the setting that I'm going to be very careful not to give it away, but you feel that other movies, the setting in a horror film especially is essential to the overall realism of the idea. So what I mean by that is, you know, for instance, if it's in the middle of the Antarctica or the middle of the ocean, you can't exactly just run away, and so that just gains a lot of tension in itself. But the police station, I'm not going to give anything away, so don't worry, but the police station, it felt like there was a get-out-of-jail-free card, so to speak, and so when she doesn't take the, the matter of you know sensibility, you know, the common sense, you feel that she's asking for all the trouble. So it does, as I said, it releases the tension valve. It kind of feels like she's being a little bit silly, so she's kind of asking for all these bad things to happen. So that was my only criticism of the movie, is that you're continually asking why you're doing this, why you're doing that, and it does become a little bit frustrating. And unfortunately, that is the curse of a lot of horror films. But having said that, you know, you, you can't really have a horror film if the character is going to make sensible decisions all the time. So if you can uh, overlook that and you can just sit down and have have a lot of fun with the film. I think this was a freaky movie that does all the, the minor things right and it does add up to be a very rewarding experience. So it's not a perfect film but it's certainly a lot better than I thought it would be and as a result of that I'm going to give it three stars. Alright guys, that's my review. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks, thank you for watching movies and I'll see you later.